Okay, this is section 4.3, and it's on nonlinear systems of equation. And uh, this is much easier section if we use Excel rather than a graphing calculator because a graphing calculator cannot solve nonlinear systems, and this Excel sheet can. The only way to do it with a graphing calculator is to graph them and find the points of intersection. So, um, on this first problem, it says the chart below shows the growth of the internet. Assume the growth to be exponential and get the exponential function best fit. T equals zero is 1990, and I have some data points here, clear up through 2008, and here's the number of internet domain names. And what I did is I copied these data points, I went to the exponential sheet, and I pasted special as text. Now this number here is rather big, and so it didn't fit in here. Now all you have to do is click in, in between where it didn't fit, like right here, and it will widen down. And if it doesn't widen out, just make it wider until it widens out. Just click and drag it across. So here's the data points typed in. There was actually 100 million um, internet domain names in the year 2008. Now I click the get equation from data points and I have here the exponential equation that shows how the internet grew. And we can find out all those things that we found back in chapter three like uh, how long does it take the internet to double now? Well equals two times this amount right here. I put in zero here, it takes one, about 1.2 years. So the growth of the internet has slowed up a little bit. Now it's taking about 1.2 years to double. But anyway, we have the exponential equation. Now, on down here, we have population growth for the world, world population. So and if it says find the uh, logarithmic equation best fit. It's the same starting date, t equals zero is 1990. And I couldn't use zero anyway because I'm going to find a logarithmic equation and logs are undefined for values of zero or lower. So it's good that I didn't have zero as a data point here. Now I copied these data points and I pasted them special into the logarithmic sheet. And you can see all those numbers are big because we're talking about the number of people on earth. So just click and drag and make it wider and you have your data in there and even without it, it still works. You can make this wider to see that number. And now we got our equation for the uh, number of people on Earth. Like maybe what's the population in the year 2010? Well, 1990 was the base year, and 2010 is 20 years after that. So it says the population will be 6.38 billion people. And it actually is more than that already. But now what we're supposed to do is use these two models to find out when will the number of internet domain names be greater than the number of people on Earth. Well, that's a nonlinear system for sure because if one of your equations is not linear, then it's not linear. And uh, we used this sheet, the nonlinear system sheet, uh, in the, uh, two videos ago in section 4.1 where we had uh, the uh, male and female salaries. And now what we're dealing with is an exponential and a logarithmic equation. So you look through here to find exponential and logarithmic, and here it is. And it takes you to a place here where we can uh, get the exponential and over here the logarithmic and have them both graphed. So let's go ahead and click this button to copy the coefficients from the exponential sheet. And it just did that. And we'll go over here and you see that's graphed in blue and that's the, uh, that is the uh, internet is in blue. And here's the human population and it's copying that for me right now. And the human population is graphed, growth of human population is in red here. Now we can go down here and click the Find Solutions button, and we have that there's one solution. Now I want to find that point of solution the intersection, well, graphically too, and I see it's at 23.26, but I need to find it graphically because I need to see if, the, if it will go higher after that point or is it before that point. So let's graph it around there, let's graph from 20, out to about 25 or so, or even 24. And we can see that point of intersection. Now here's the human population is in red, that's that logarithmic, and here's uh, the growth of the internet. And we can see that the internet is higher, number of internet domain names is higher after that point of intersection. So anytime after 23.2 years after 1990, which would be about the year 2013.26, about a quarter of the way through the year 2013, there should be more internet uh, domain names than there are people on Earth, assuming that the growth continues at the same rate for both of these. Okay, on this problem it says for the equations below, when will P1 be greater than P2? P1 is this quadratic equation and P2 is this cubic equation. So they're both examples of polynomial equations. So I went to the uh, nonlinear sheet 
And what I did is when I had the choices at the top, I clicked on two polynomials. Then I typed in my coefficients for my quadratic right here, and I typed in my coefficients for my cubic right here. Okay. Now, my quadratic is in blue, and my cubic is in red. I went down here and I clicked this button to find the points of intersection. So then I could see the smallest point of intersection for the x value is negative 26, and the highest is positive 26.9. So I need to adjust my viewing window to go a little bit before the first point of intersection, a little bit after the last point of intersection, the x values. If I do that, then I can see when will this quadratic, which is graphed in blue, be greater or higher, is what that's talking about, than the cubic equation, which is graphed in red. And on this, I can see that the quadratic is higher than the cubic before the first inter point of intersection. So in other words, when x is less than tw negative 26.52, the quadratic is also higher than the cubic in this area right here, which is from the second point of intersection to the third point of intersection. So in other words, the quadratic is also higher than the cubic from about uh, 1 to 26.95. And if we take a look at our answers to this problem, we can see that that is the answer when x is less than the first point of intersection and between the other two point of intersections right there. Okay, on this example, it says the population of ladybugs in Allegheny County is growing exponentially according to this exponential equation right here. T is the number of months since July 1996, and P is the population of ladybugs in millions. The population of grasshoppers is growing in a parabolic shape, satisfying this quadratic equation right here. T is the number of months since July 1996, and P is the population of grasshoppers in millions. And it asks for what months will the population of grasshoppers, which is the quadratic equation, be greater than the population of ladybugs, which is the exponential equation. So what I'm going to need to do is go to the nonlinear system sheet. I'm dealing with an exponential and a uh, quadratic, which is a polynomial. So I need a polynomial and an exponential, so this would be that right here. And what I'm going to have to do is type in my coefficients for my quadratic right here and my exponential right here. Okay, I typed in those coefficients. Here's my uh, quadratic coefficients typed in for the grasshoppers, and here's my coefficients for the ladybugs in this exponential format right here. Now, at this point, if I click the Find Solutions button, I can find out where they're equal. So graph this system of equations uh, a little bit before the first point of intersection. The first point of intersection is about negative 1, so let's graph it from negative 2 out to about 8. So from negative 2 out to about uh, 8, if I do that, then hopefully I can find out when will the population of grasshoppers be greater than the population of uh, ladybugs. If, uh, grasshoppers is in blue, so it would be before the first point of intersection and between the second and third point of intersection. So before this value and in between these two values. And that would be the actual answer to this problem. And so. Um, we could convert those over to months and so on, but that would pretty much do it for that problem.